Hey everyone, it's Ashley, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be trying out some products from the new Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection. They have a bunch of different products out right now, but the products that I got are the Full Coverage Foundation, the It's Bananas Setting Powder, and the Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. So the first guy I'm gonna start with is the Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. This is said to be infused with watermelon and cucumbers. So this is supposed to hydrate your skin, which I'm super excited about. So I'm just gonna get into it. This is $36 and it is in the shade Swan. I am dying to get my face covered right now. So I'm just gonna take um, we'll go with four pumps. That's probably a lot, but oh well. Oh my gosh, it smells like watermelon and cucumbers. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, this is a great way to wake up today. All right, and I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and blend this puppy out. By the way, my face is already primed. I have my eyelids primed and I did my brows. All right, so we're at about medium coverage, so I definitely need to go in with another layer. All right, I'm gonna get my hair out of my face. Okay, so this is super, super hydrating, but with that, you're getting stickiness. So I definitely need to set this guy. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I am just gonna throw on some concealer and set it with my normal Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and then we'll get on to the next product. So the next thing I'm gonna get into is the It's Bananas Setting Powder. This retails for $30 and it is so cute on the inside. The little bananas are said to brighten while the rest of the setting powder is said to set your face. So I'm just gonna go in Grab some product and set my face with this guy. And this is also banana scented, but it's not, it's like a runt. It's like banana candy. It's not really ridiculous. All right, jury's still out as to if this actually brightened my face, but it did set my makeup and now my makeup is not sticky. It's not transferring back onto my fingers. So really quick, I'm just going to put on a little bit of bronzer, some blush, some highlight, and I will be back to use the eyeshadow palette. All right, I'm feeling better and better by the moment as I get more and more of my face on. So all of the stuff layered really nicely on top of the foundation. If anything, I feel like this setting powder dried my face out a little bit. So this might have ruined the foundation for me. So I need to use a different setting powder with this foundation. Moving on is the Razzleberry Eyeshadow Palette. This guy retails for $34. You get seven shades. And my complaint with this guy is that only two of them are matte. So you're not getting a lot to work with. Even if you got like one more matte shade, that would be great. It is berry scented, but it's kind of kind of like a little bit obnoxious to me. The other two smelled really good. This scent I don't care for. I don't hate it, but you know, I definitely could live without it. Okay, so this is going to be super fun for me to tell the eyeshadow colors because they are opposite on the back here. So I am going to start with my Ipsy L34 Blend Beauty, go into this sort of neutral shade called Pink Suede, and... I'm already getting a little bit of fallout in the pan, but you know, it's not too, too bad. And I'm just going to make this my transition color. Oh, that's very, very pretty. Okay, next I'm going to take my Glamour Dolls Romantic Rose, go into the only other matte shade, Boys and Berry, and make this my crease shade. Oh wow, that is nice and pigmented. And I'm gonna use a clean brush to just really get a nice blend of this color. Okay, now I want to smoke out the eye a little bit and all I have are metallic and glitter shades left, but that's okay. 
So I'm going to use my Morphe M433, go into the shade Bad to the Berry, just very lightly because it's like a black shade with a lot of pink and blue glitters. And I'm just going to pack just a little bit on the outer corner of my eye. Okay, next is the shade I'm most excited about. This swatch so freaking amazing. I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kashuk number 106, go into this sort of pinky copper shade called Razzle. Oh, it's breaking apart. So I might just have to revert to my finger. Yeah, no, I could do better than that. So I'm just going to use my finger, which I'm sure you're supposed to do with shades like this. It is really, really smooth and creamy. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I really hope I don't screw this up with my eyeliner. <laughs> okay, so now I really want to try out this purple. So I'm going to use my Morphe M508. It's called That's My Jam. Just going to stamp in because this is also a very creamy metallic shade. And I'm just going to buff under my eye. So there is a bit of fallout on my cheeks, it's all that metallic shade, but it looks like it buffed right off. Okay, so really quick, I'm going to pray to God while I do my eyeliner, put on some mascara, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back, and I didn't screw up my eyeliner. It doesn't look amazing like I would like it to, but I will take it. So this palette is definitely my favorite piece out of this 2D Free collection. Each shade blended like a dream. I had no issues with any of them whatsoever. I didn't have to build up pigment or anything like that. If anything, I had to err on the side of caution and go a little bit lighter because these shades were so pigmented. Something to note is that using those metallic shades, definitely try to use your finger if you can because it started to make a mess and was crumbling when I was kind of digging in with the brush. So I'm sure that you're meant to use your fingers for those like in other palettes. So to give a quick recap, there is the Do You Full Coverage Foundation. Um, I like the way this went on. I like the way it built. Everything I put over it did not mess or pull with the foundation. However, I cannot give you a wear test because it already looks dry and that is due to the brightening setting powder. So this guy is definitely a no for me. You know, I might try it with other foundations, but I feel like for $30, it's kind of expensive for just a little compact of setting powder. You can get an Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder for $5, so a lot cheaper than this guy, but it is super cute. Now, my favorite, the star of the show, the Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. Love, love, love. The only shade I did not try is the middle shade. Buried Treasure, but it is so soft and creamy and oh my gosh, just absolutely beautiful. So I would have to say, if you could only afford one thing and I could only afford three, there are lip glosses, there are blushes, there's a setting spray, there's highlighting drops, there's liquid glitter eyeshadow, there's highlighter sticks, but for these three that I have tried, I would have to say get yourself the eyeshadow palette, oh my gosh. There is another eyeshadow palette that you can try out. It is called the Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette, and it has some brown mattes, a metallic -y gold, a metallic -y green. So I might have to go to my Ulta and swatch this one because I might need it, just saying. All right, so that is it for my little review of some of the products of the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Collection. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now go have yourself an awesome day.